teased. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be doing a video that uh, I honestly have been wanting to do for a while, but it was kind of hard to narrow it down. We're going to be going through my least favorite WWE action figures in my collection. We're only going to be doing elites. There's a few rules to this. We're only going to be doing elites. Women's figures are not included in this because I'll show you that uh, before we even get into the figures that I dislike the most. This video was very hard to make just because I love a ton of my figures. I think I have like 800 or 900 total and I literally like 98 99% of them I love my figures I love my collection I love this hobby and I love MDT and everything that has got us this far and everything and um, so it's really hard to make this list I don't like to nitpick about figures but you know when there's a problem with them and I don't like them I want to tell you guys about it and those are the figures that are on this list today and if you guys disagree with it then I don't want you guys to get your feelings hurt or anything you may love a figure that's on this list and I may despise it you may love or you may despise a figure that I absolutely love so you know it's just personal preference but uh, we're gonna get into this list and before we even begin I already know I'm gonna get a hundred million comments saying can I have free figures and the answer is always gonna be no and the answer will always be no let's ask one more time try asking again can I have free figures no so there you have it guys I'm not going to be giving any free figures away or anything like that but with that being said guys let's go ahead and get into the figures in my collection that I dislike the most so before we get started guys this is what I was talking about with the women's figures I mean just look at this Natalia there's no ab crunch at all it's all whippy nippy I mean the, the women's figures could just be so much better. Like, every time I try to stand her up, she wants to do the splits. There's no ankle articulation. There's single jointed knees. And it's just like, bruh, come on with it. I'm ready for the Ronda Rousey Ultimate Edition. I think that'll easily be the best uh, women's Mattel figure. But I just feel like, I don't know, if the women's figures got the treatment that the men's did, they probably do way better on those. But, uh, so that's why there's not going to be any women included on here, because they'd probably fill up my entire arena right here. But anyways, guys, getting into this list right here, we're starting off with the Elite 38 APA. And you look at it, and you're like, you know, it's not a bad figure. I mean, look at the head scan. It's pretty effing massive. The arm, or the hands are pretty loose as well. And the legs are really, really loose. And it's because they're on ball joints. You know, I could probably fix that if I wanted, but I just don't care enough about JBL. And I don't care enough about Bradshaw to do so. The figure, again, is not that bad. I like the Farouk a lot better but I don't know they just uh, I just feel like it's a wasted here I don't like the baggy AF jeans I feel like they could have given him the Farouk jeans and it probably would have been a lot better I've never tried putting the Farouk jeans on here one because I think it's a different jean color and two I just I don't care enough but this is included you can also do this weird stuff right here so yeah APA John Bradshaw Layfield's on here up next, we have the Top Talents 2018 Braun Strowman. I literally did a whole rant video on why I don't like this figure. Basically, it's because it's just a re-release of Elite 58. Elite 58 was bad enough because it's the Elite 52 Braun Strowman with a screaming head scan. They could have given us different boots, different pants. No, they just gave us a different head scan, which isn't the biggest deal. But then when they gave us the Top Talents Braun Strowman, and it's the exact Elite 58 figure, that's where I had the problem. So if you guys want to hear me rant about this figure, go watch that video. I think it's called The Worst WWE figure releases I've ever seen and in that video I also talk about where's he at where's freaking Mr. freaking Olympic gold medalist there he is the ringside exclusive Kurt Angle I also poop on this figure in that video and it's basically I didn't like this figure just because it's replicating one of my least favorite moments in the history of WWE when Kurt Angle was came out of retirement due to Roman Reigns being sick and Bray Wyatt being sick and they had to have replacements and it was a big emergency. They bring him out, they put him in shield gear and uh, he, he teams with a shield in a nothing pay-per-view that meant absolutely nothing and I did not like it. So Kurt Angle in this shield attire, I don't like the head scan, the parts are very inaccurate and um, I don't like posing around shield figures. I think the boots or something are really weird and they do this little thing, you see that, where they're like off center and they won't stand up straight and I don't know, I don't like posing around shield figures so that's why that figure's on here. Also, this Dean Ambrose, it's the same thing. He's got wooden teeth as well. Um, the head scan, I just don't see Dean Ambrose. I don't know why. A lot of people say they do. I just don't see it for myself. And again, it's that shield uh, legs problem. I just cannot stand, uh, you know, posing them around. They're very weak sauce. They don't stand up straight. They fall over easy, and they're really hard to pose around. So that's the reason I don't like the, uh, the shield boots. And you see they keep poking out sideways. So that's why Dean Ambrose is on here, and he joins Kurt Angle in that shield problem. Next up we have the Revival and I know what you guys are thinking. You know it's the NXT Revival figures. They're actually really good figures. I just, they're really really small and I, I don't know what it is. I guess it's the torso. I would have preferred 
you know, the Tully Blanchard or the Arn Anderson torso. And then I guess like William Regal legs would have been better or a thicker leg mold would have been better. These guys are just so tiny. Like they literally up next to anybody in my pick fed. When I'm doing them versus the Bucks, they're literally a foot shorter and they're really hard to pose around, you know, when they're way shorter and they can't, it's hard to do suplexes and stuff with smaller characters. And so these figures just feel really tiny. I feel like I'm posing around El Cerrito when, I'm got, when I have these guys. I love Scott Dawson, I love Dash Wilder, but Jesus, man, these revival figures could be so much better. I just feel like the parts are too small and they're just really, really short. And, you know, I know they're 5'10", they're 5'10", so they're actually not that tall individuals or wrestlers for that matter but I don't know very disappointing not two of my least favorite figures for that reason next up we do have the ultimate Kevin Owens figure and if you guys have been following the channel for a very long time I don't know if anybody's here from that original video I made how to make the ultimate Kevin Owens fix up and uh, this is that figure except I put on my least favorite Kevin Owens head scan I put on the elite 61 Kevin Owens arms because they had this crappy tattoo and or it's just so massive that's why it's inaccurate and everything and then it just I don't know it's just not a good figure it's all loosey-goosey is the main problem and it's just one of my least favorite figures it's got the nice Kevin Owens show vindication custom t-shirt on there um, I painted the KO on there and everything the legs are just really weird I did that Cena fix up where you switch the lower knee pad you put the HPK kick pads on there to give him the more accurate height kick pads but that just effed him all up now his legs are all loose and he's just he's not ultimate at all guys he's just a big just awful Awfulness. Um, Kevin Owens is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. I think he's so, so talented, but this figure does not equal Kevin Owens, and that's why it's one of my least favorites in my collection. Next up, we do have two Sting figures. We have the Great American Bash Defining Moments, and then we have the Elite 62, and I love Sting. I love Flashback Sting, but this figure has like a freaking bobblehead going on. I don't think this one does. This one's much better. However, their torsos are just way, way too massive, and I don't know why Mattel gave us this. You know, you can literally see the waist going over the crotch piece and that's a big problem it's like it's you know like when you were younger and you had really tight underwear on and then you know when you go to take them off at night or get in the shower or whatever and they're freaking you have like the impressions of the waistband in your waist that's what this guy's gonna have there's literally gonna be rashes and all kinds of stuff on his freaking sides because they are squeezing the life out of this man I don't like this torso I don't even think it fits for Batista the Blue Tista Elite 33 I still don't think it looks good on that figure I much prefer the Triple H torso and they should have done something else for him I think even the Seth Rollins torso would have been better um, than this it's just way too massive and uh, I'm still a big Sting fan but they could have done that better so those two are on my list next up we do have Elite 61 Fandango same problem with Sting's guys I mean this torso is absolutely massive like there's not a single man in the WWE ripped up this enough I don't even care Jinder Mahal no way Jinder Mahal looks better with the Triple H torso as well I just do not like this torso for anybody it's literally what 0.7% body fat on this guy the arms are way too big I actually like the head scan and I love everything from this figure from the waist down is absolutely perfect in my opinion but that torso and arms is just I don't know man not my favorite I'm probably gonna switch it here one day just got to figure out what recipe I want to do just because the arms I'm gonna have to either custom paint the tattoo or uh, figure out something else because I'll lose it if I just switch the arms but that right there is absolutely terrible besides that great looking uh, Fandango but that right there is just unacceptable to me next up we have everyone's favorite man right now and that's James Ellsworth pretty controversial um, when this figure first came out you know I didn't really like it to begin with you guys can go watch my review it's just look at this torso you can't even bend his ab crunch the arms are really really skinny I know it's James Ellsworth but these arms are way too skinny even if it is just a one-time mold his legs they actually made him way too tall in some of the production and I think I got one of the taller ones they also gave him you know some uh, tights lower leg mold so it looks like he has wrinkles or something growing out of his legs so that's a big problem with this figure as well I know everything that's going on with him right now is absolutely terrible and I don't stand by it and if he actually is guilty of all that stuff and it's found out that he's guilty then you know do away with it but uh, that figure is absolutely trash uh, we have the Elite 50 Rhino, and uh, this figure, everybody knows how massive the shoulders were when we first got it. I mean, these things were literally like this, and the arms are still freaking massive, and I don't know, he's kind of hard to, you know, pose around. He's still got blood on his forehead from when uh, uh, he got into a hardcore match or extreme championship match with RVD, MDT Live, and he literally hasn't been back on TV, and I don't know when he's ever coming back, but... This figure also has a problem with loose hands and stuff. I don't know. It's just not very fun to pose around just for that reason. He's very loosey-goosey. He slides all over the place. And, yeah, Rhino. Next up, we have another figure that just... 
I love Mark Henry to death, but this figure right here, guys, it literally, if you try to stand him up, he if he leans forward just any, he's doing a face plant. The ankle joints are actually gone on this guy. He will not stand straight up. I love Mark Henry to death, and I think the head scan and everything's great. I just wish they could have done something with the figure to make his size actually, you know, mean something. Because, like, up next to Finn Balor, it's like, I don't know, you can't tell that they're way two different sizes. I don't know what they could have done, really to make him look massive, but I don't know. I just don't think it does the job here. And plus his legs are really hard to pose and every, I don't know, just just not very fun to pose around. And uh, I wanted to include it here just because he also used to knock over my top shelf. When he used to sit on my top shelf, he would fall over and then domino affect my whole shelf. And it was just, it developed a bad relationship between me and this Mark Henry figure. But I am a big fan of Mark Henry, but this, this is just not good. And then finally, we're gonna end it kind of controversial here. Um, we're going to end up with all of the Demon Elite Battlers that we've gotten that don't include the ripped up torso. And I know a lot of people say it doesn't bother them. Well, it really bothers me because I just don't like it. When people make customs and they use this torso, I don't like it. It's just, it's not accurate at all. And it's just really hard to even look at a Demon Battler if it doesn't have the uh, correct torso. That's why any Battler in my entire collection always has the ripped up torso. I just cannot uh, do it. I would rather them give us a non-painted demon and give us the right torso than give us demons. I would rather them never give us a demon than give us one that looks like this. I just don't like the Daniel Bryan torso. Um, I just, it's just, that's disrespectful to Finn Balor and his abs. I mean, come on, guys. He's way bigger than that. Uh, he needs to have that ripped up Cody Rhodes torso, and I think that's what he deserves. So, uh, that's the reason I don't like these. I mean, they're solid figures, I guess. They're fun to pose around and stuff. It's just that inaccuracy really is upsetting, but that pretty much does it for my least favorite figures in my collection. I mean, again, um, I love all the figures in my collection. You know, I, I, these these things are absolutely amazing. I love Mattel. I love everything they do. And, uh, you know, that just sometimes there's bonehead decisions. And I know it's not all, you know, they don't necessarily mean to make those decisions. It's just sometimes they get budget cuts and sometimes they have to do things the way that, uh, you know, they're told to. And then sometimes they have no choice, I'm sure. But uh, that pretty much does it for my least favorite figures, you know, one or another. You know, it's nothing personal about it. You guys may despise a figure that I absolutely love and you may love a figure that's on this list like those Finn Balors or the Revival or anything like that but again I just wanted to let you guys know what my feelings are on these certain figures and why they are on this least favorite it was very hard to make this list because I love all of my figures so very much and um, I need to do my top 10 favorite figures in my collection let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would like to see that but that pretty much does it for this video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNamToys. Comment down below what you think of these figures here today. Do you dislike any of these? Do you love any of these? Comment down below and let me know. But that does it for this video, guys. Thank you.